Let's send good morning to all. Please all stand as we begin our service today. And this morning, we will also observe our Holy Communion. Why don't you take time to go around, say good morning to everyone. Let's do that. Amen. Sige. May buntag. God bless you and thank you for being with us today. It's a joy to see all of you in God's house. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we would like to ask your mercy and your grace. Help us be aware that what we're doing today matters to you. We want to worship. Gather us around your table this morning, remembering what Jesus said. Do this in remembrance of me. Help Pastor Prince as he leads us to worship in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's join our hearts together as we worship the Lord, bowing down and giving reverence to Him. Amen. Good morning. It is by God's great love and mercy that we are in His house today. Psalm 99.5 said, Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before His feet, for He is holy. Join me as we worship the Lord. We fall down, we lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus. The greatness of His mercy and love at the feet. And we cry, holy, 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 we cry, hallelujah.
realize this morning when we worship the Lord, dilik in hanglan that we all are in cloud nine, as if everything is well. There are times that everything is not well, and that's what the song says, even in my darkest moment. You lost a loved one, marriage is not doing good, you've been diagnosed with this sickness. Bugat, no? Pero my dear brothers and sisters, this month of March, let us say, as you give the grace, we will worship. Let's try that one more time and let's be open to God. Not everything is good, Lord, but I will worship. Amen. Let's try that song one more time and be honest before the Lord. No, God, there's, I'm not okay, but I will worship you today. Lord, you seem so far away, a million miles or more, it feels today. Yeah, that's true. Let's all pray a thanksgiving prayer. Thank you, Lord, we survived February. Thank you, Lord, there's hope in the month of March. Thank you, Lord, we're still alive. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to preach today. I really mean that, Lord. Thank you for the strength. In the name of Christ, amen. Please remain standing. We welcome back to the church. Dr. Jerry Mulato, Fritz and Kate Tong, and Lillian, they came from Israel. So let us clap for welcome back. Dr. Jerry will lead us in a prayer for gratitude. There's a lot of stories you need to hear. Just interview him. No? He finally saw the sycamore tree. Pero he tried to climb, but he cannot. Anyway. <laughs> A most thankful man today. Marami siyang kwento, but I believe he can lead us to pray Thanksgiving prayer. Hearts in prayer and lift our voices to the Lord. Indeed, Father, you are faithful. The God who leads us and guides us. Your ways, O Lord, are mysterious yet unmistakably. Uh, ways of wisdom and love and, and mercy. We thank you for the strength we have today, the freedom we can enjoy in this country to freely gather in worship. We realize, Lord, not all places are like this. Oh, Lord, like the place we've been, Lord, Christians are struggling to live out their faith amidst many challenges. Lord, whether we are in the situation that we are free or restricted, our hope is in you. You are the same God who is faithful to us. You lead us in sometimes like the way you lead the people of Israel in places called Mara, where they found bitter water and their faith was tested. Sadly, they failed, and that is like us many times. Our fail falters when we go through crisis. But we have always the reason to be thankful because even in our darkest moments, even when our faith is weak, even when we are doubting, you never stop pouring your grace upon us. You allow us to see your faithfulness, even amidst our unfaithfulness. And you rescue us, and then you lead us to a place called Elim, a place of rest, a 
place where we can enjoy an oasis, refreshing our faith, strengthening our hearts, O Lord. So we realize, Lord, sa aming pag-journey sa buhay, in the ups and downs of our lives, when life is smooth and pleasant, and even in difficult times, you are the same God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You remain faithful. You remain true to us. And therefore, we realize that thanksgiving was ultimately anchored in your goodness, in your faithfulness. We give you praise for bringing healing to our bodies. But even in sickness, we come to know you deeper. Thank you for guiding our paths, rescuing us, Lord, from wrong choices. But again, Lord, even when we fail to discern your ways, your grace leads us back to your path. And we are humble. We bow down in thanksgiving, O oh Father. Thank you for providing for our needs. Thank you, thank you for teaching us how to trust you more when things are lacking. Because we can trust our Heavenly Father who knows what is best for us. When our relationships are not uh, in a sweet mode, sometimes it turns sour. Lord Jesus, you are our help. You are the one who sustains our frail hearts so that we will not be overwhelmed by despair and bitterness and unforgiveness. Lord, you are good. You are good. Yes, all the time. It's not no longer just a cliche. You are allowing us to see that as a reality, little by little. Oh, teach our faith to trust you more. In Christ's name, we give you all our thanksgiving and praise. Amen. Please all be seated. One of the joys of attending a service like this is we can pray for each other. It is my delight to see that in this church, you're no longer feeling awkward or embarrassed when the pastor asks you to stand if you have prayer requests because we know that this is humbling at the same time God-honoring. And uh, Mamaya, I will ask you if you have a prayer request Bring that to the Lord and we will help you pray. But we need to pray for two things. Number one, the United Methodist Church in Claveria got caught fire. Nasunog ang simbahan sa mga Methodista. If you are lumad nga taga-dabaw, katood ba mo anang Bibay's gift shop? I'm not sure if it's still there. But there's a skinita going inside and there's an old, old, old Methodist Church in Claveria, and they na so pati ang parsonage. Our church board will meet next week, and I am proposing that we release some funds to help them rebuild the church. All God's people say, Amen. And secondly, as the Lord touch your heart, maybe you want to help, you can give the gift directly to me, and I see to it, I will bring it to Miss Pableo, if you know her, she is a member, uh, I think an officer of the Methodist Church. Uh, Mam Frani is with Davao Christian High School. If you know her, you can also directly give the gift to her so they can rebuild. So I pray that, that uh, tulungan po natin. Kasi ngayong araw na ito, this particular Sunday, I think they are worshipping in a multi-purpose uh, place, not as comfortable as the original. So we grieve with the Methodist uh, brethren. Pero naisip ko rin, ano? In times like this, where the Lord takes the building, somehow we discover what worship really is. Amen. Amen. I remember long time ago, the Baptist Church, Davao Baptist Church, the conservative Baptist, got burned also. I was the pastor of Emmanuel then. And that Sunday, the church was naugdaug yun, no? But the believers were still there worshiping. So one is clear that the church is not the building. The church are the people that worships the Lord. That time, I saw a glorious sight, still fresh in my memory, that the Baptists sent their hymnals so they can sing, and our pews so they can sit, and the Pentecostal church sent their help also. What a beautiful sight. Who among you this morning needs prayer, will you stand and we will bring them to God in prayer. By standing, you're saying, that's me. I need prayer. Maybe exams, maybe a problem that you need to face in the office. 
particularly ang atong kalusugan, health, we will ask God for mercy. Ito maulaw, no? By standing, you're saying, pray for me. Loving Father, Abba, Daddy, these dear ones who are standing, my pagkinahanglan, and I want to assume that many of us needed your provision because life is hard, prices are up, and uh, in this third world country, difficult to survive on a daily basis. Pero Panginoon, more than the supply, minsan nakalimutan namin, your supply is on time and enough, but we did not ask for wisdom how to spend it, and therefore we lost it again. Therefore, karong hap, karong buntag, ngayon tami kaalam, wisdom, sa on pag-budget, we want to ask wisdom what to spend first because financial expenses are spiritual decisions. Lord, we ask for contentment. If a heart is not contented, then no blessing is enough. Your word says, if we have food na ay pagkaon, na ay bisti, na ay panamit, tama na, we will be contented. And Father, we need contentment. Lord, others are standing because of health issue. Maybe the doctor said something, a lump, the sin, or a second opinion, or as we grow old, life is getting weaker. We ask for your miracle of strength and healing, invoking the powerful name of Jesus. Father, we also pray for those who have troubles. Bugat nga mga ginadala. Maybe relationships at home, maybe a lot of all of that. We lay them down before you, believing that you will hear. Lord, we pray for the United Methodist Church, that the pastor right now will speak your word, that their worship will be most sincere, despite there is no building. The people of God consist the church, not the building. And we also pray that one day, by your grace and mercy, provisions will come and construction will begin or repairs, and they will have a beautiful sanctuary again. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by faith we pray, we receive the answer. Amen. Please be seated. One part of prayer is not complete until we learn to pray for others. Will it be a timely reminder to you, you are what you are today, number one, because God is good, pangalawa, because somebody prayed for you. Amen? And how do you know who to pray? Third person of the Trinity, Holy Spirit, stirs your heart to pray. Maybe you're Somehow you felt like, pray for your daughter. I caution you. I urge you. When you listen to the conviction of the Spirit, obey immediately because it's from the Lord. Amen? Pray, pray for this person. Mostly naman kilala ninyo. Mostly hindi. As the Lord stir your heart. Today, if you have a stirring in your heart to pray for someone else, would you stand and representing that person? I want to pray for this person. Yes, amen. This is what you call prayers of the saints, the living saints of God. I want to pray for this. Let's listen more. Maybe ganiha wala, but now God reminded you, I want you to pray for your brother, your sister, your friend, your classmate, maybe a pastor that needs prayer. Will you represent that person by standing? And now let us present these names to God. Lord, hear our prayer. I present these names to you. For this month of March is Teens Mental Health Month. Pray for the young people whose depression and whose mental health is challenged nowadays. Have mercy, Lord Christ Jesus, have mercy. Let us name to the Lord the people you're standing for. God, hear our prayer. Davao City celebrates Araw ng Davao. A beautiful city, wonderful people. But Lord, it seems like that the spiritual thermometer of this city is very, very discouraging. I pray, especially in the Protestant churches. Churches are dying and dry. Pray for your revival. Have mercy. Have mercy. Starting in our church, into the church of the neighborhood, we lift them up in prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our cry. 
in the name of Christ Jesus, who answers our prayer. Abba, hear our prayer. We pray. Amen. Please all rise for the Gloria Patri. From the book of Proverbs. Please join me as we read together. All together, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Verse 7 is very important. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Verse 8 says, Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Isn't it something mysterious that the healing in the body is connected with the fear of the Lord? In what way this week you did not trust the Lord? In what way this week you did not depend on His understanding? In what way this week you were impressed by your own wisdom? According to that verse, we need to repent. Let us bow before the Lord. Lord, forgive us. We admit to you that there were times this week we did not consult you in prayer. We decided immediately. We confess to you the foolishness of the heart. We bought something. We signed a contract trusting that it will benefit us, neglecting the warnings that you have given. So, Lord, out of that Proverbs, we repent. Help us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not in our own understanding. In the name of Christ, Amen. Please be seated. Moments from now, we will be kneeling before the Lord in prayer. And last uh, Friday, Mansigoro or Wednesday, the Lord convicted us Several years ago, when the church was in prayer, we bought this, and everyone had one. But years later, murag nakalimot kita. And therefore, for me, it's a correction from the Lord. Maybe we forgot to pray. Protestants, are we kneeling down to pray? Is it wrong to kneel down when we pray? Not at all. But I want to remind you, you don't kneel down because... You believe that in this position, God will answer my prayer more. That's wrong. You don't kneel down to prove that you're holy than the others. That's also wrong. Sometimes you are having vertigo. You don't force yourself to kneel down. Or the humorous way, sometimes, Dako na kaigtiyan. Di takaluhod kayo, magsangko na ang kwan. What I'm saying is, convicted kayo ko sa ginoo that in this time of prayer, wherein you and me will kneel down before the Lord, you, we go back there. No? I have asked the church to, in fact, I am not asking the church to release money. I'm asking you, buy like this. Maybe you can get a sample. One for you, one for another person. And just don't put your name. This kneeling pad is brought to you by Hinebra. Just get one so that when it's time to kneel down, it's not a good thing. The Catholics kneel down. I think it's not wrong. Amen? If you like. I think the problem is kung pugson. Wala'y dapat mapugos. Pero wala po'y dapat na dili okay. 
So we will be singing the song, Down at your feet, O Lord, the most high place. We'll sing that one more time. And then when we pray today, we'll go back to kneeling down, if you like. One more. The altar is open. While singing the song, you can come down. Kneel down here and bring your request to the Lord. You know why you do that? You're desperate. Lord, please have mercy. You're up there, you cannot, but you can just sit down if you want. Others sitting down, others kneeling down. It's up to you. Ako, I will kneel down. The Lord convicted me to ang bigat ng buhay. Just just say, God, wala nagyo ko I just want to kneel down before you. I just want you to know this is a practice that honors the Lord. Will you stand, please? Down at your feet, O Lord. And as we sing the song, if you feel like coming to the altar and kneel down, Come, and then later on we'll join our hearts together. Present your needs to the Lord, your problem, your burden. Now, at your feet, O oh Lord, is the most I place. In your presence, Lord, I seek your face. I seek your faith. Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Down at your feet, O oh Lord, is the most I'm placed in your presence, Lord. I seek your faith. I seek your faith. It's our prayers we cannot share to others, we cannot share to our husband or wife, we directly share to you. Others have a so heavy load. Prayer about ourselves, prayer about God, where's the next step? What is your will? Have mercy. Hear our cry. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us all pray. You can sit down, you can come to the altar and kneel. And you can bow before God. Pwede makalingkod, magluhod, whatever you want. Let us bow before the Lord.
suddenly the place silent before you feel your presence. Help us, Lord, to listen to your words now. Lead us to your table. Refresh us with the Holy Communion. In our theology, the, the bread remains the same symbol, the juice symbol. But Father, more than symbols, mysterious, reminding us of who we are, where we're going, and who strengthens us today. In remembrance of Christ, help us partake. In the name of Christ, humbly we pray. Amen. Amen. Please all rise for the reading of the Holy Scripture. Pastor Jerry will be leading us, and it is best suggested that we read together the Word of God. Together, let us read Philippians chapter 1, verse 3 to 11. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Whenever I pray, I make my request for all of you with joy. For you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard it until now. And I am certain that God, who began a good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So it is right that I should feel as I do about all of you, for you have a special place in my heart. You share with me the special favor of God, both in my imprisonment and in defending and confirming the truth of the good news. God knows how much I love you and long for you with the tender compassion of Christ Jesus. I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in you by Jesus Christ. For this will bring much glory and praise to God. This is the word of God. This is the word of life. And the people of God say, thanks be to God. We will be singing while we're standing. Pastor Prince will lead us an old hymn that brings nostalgia in my heart. We've been singing this. And I'm sure if you grew up in a hymn singing church, it will remind you of the yesteryears and the wonderful today that God has afforded us. Let's worship God. Oh 
spiritual joy is when you know you are living your life and you are doing the purpose of God for your life. All God's people say, That's, there's joy. However, my sermon this morning will be very, very specific. It did not take me long to understand, but it took time to sink in, I should say, that if you want to obey the purpose of God, listen to me, it is not God's design that you do His purpose alone. You need others. All God's people say. Now, if you need others, that would really mean a great adjustment because no one is the same. We have different kinaya. Pero kung sundon ang kabubuton sa gino, this is where the sermon is going, you want to obey God's purpose. But it is not God's design that you obey God's purpose on your own. You need to have partners. Amen. And therefore, when that partnership works, it brings joy. Amen. It brings joy. One of the best feelings I have as a pastor is when I see the church united together in obeying the will of God. I remember a long time ago, Several years ago when the church was still wooden and we are already cramped up and we, need, we were convinced that God wants us to have a building but we have only 30 million in the bank and that is so small and the architect was telling us that the budget should be like 90,000 or 100, uh, not 90 million, sorry, 90 million, 100 million. Trying to kalayo, no? But that Friday, people gathered here to pray we are to make the final decision as a church if we're going to build. And I sense the sacredness. People said yes. And then months after that, I remember we took time to pray who will lead the building committee. And God has chosen Dr. De Brato to be the, lead, the, the leader of the building committee. The doctor is not an engineer. He is very reluctant. But after that, Everything is history. I have no time to be proud when I see this building because I am reminded it is all of God's grace. All God's people say. I remember the young boy who in the back at Abrisa brought a, a, a bamboo, alcancia, and all the coins were there. And he said, this is for the building. It will always be cherished in my memory. The teacher, I don't know your name now, but I will never forget. You met me down there. And he, you said, I came from the school, got my retirement, but this is the one for the church. And I said, Mom, why can't you wait Sunday? I can't forget that. My point this morning is, don't attempt to serve God alone. Have partners with others. The sermon is entitled, Joyful Partnership in the gospel. I want to make clear, this is not just about partnership in the business, though there are some principles you can really use. This is not partnership about one corporation to the other, but this is a partnership specifically two people loving God, working together for the glory of God, fulfilling the purpose of God. That's partnership. And I want you to underline the word Partner, I like that because when we are partners, no one is superior. Amen? Everybody is equal. So when we partner with our American counterparts, our other churches, we partner. No one is abusing one another, but equal. Now, read verse 3, 4, and 5. That's where I'm coming from, okay? Let's read together. Every time I think of you, I give thanks. To my God. Well, wait a minute. I, 
I cannot help but reflect. Are there people who give thanks to God when they think of me? I'm asking you to think the same. Are people saying, I thank God because of this person? Wow, that's something to think about. Before you partake communion today, we must search our heart and say, Lord, is my life making other people thank you? Next verse. Whenever I pray, I make my request for all of you with joy. And then I thought about it. Are the Philippian believers too many that Paul would still remember them? Or they're still small that Paul can still pray for all of them? But the important thing is he prays with joy. At this moment, Paul is describing Paul here, the Philippian church here. They are partners in fulfilling the purpose of God. This is not true in Corinth. This is not true in other churches. I have pastored several churches already with all due respect to, 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 uh, to the churches I have served. I can only say, not all churches I smile when I think of them. Sometimes I don't want to think of them anymore. But there are memories that when you think of them, you still smile. When I, when I was serving Times Baptist Church, a small church, when I think of them, I smile. You know, that church was born as a help uh, big churches collaborated together to plant a church in Doña Luisa, where I first pastored one Matina and then first Buhangin Baptist Church. They partnered together. What a wonderful memory. At the hapon, ana, ang mga taga Buhangin, mga men nila, isa ka jeep. And then, what a joy to remember. I served the church for three years. I was ordained there. And then I Remember Iloilo City, Grace Baptist Church. It's no longer around. It has disbanded because of church trouble. Uh, I regret and I still cry every time I remember. I was 20, wait a minute, huh? 24 years old when I pastored that church. And they took care of me and my family. And a lot of you were students before. Now you're engineers, product of the church. So, si Pio Kamogas Kuila, si Iloilo, I bow, I smile when I remember that church. Then I, Dabao Chinese Baptist Church. I want to bow to you because I want you to know I have no complaint pastoring this church. This brings joy in my heart. The other churches I did not mention did not bring me joy. Those only ones that brought me joy. They, they brought me high blood pressure. Pero wala mo aksidente sa gino. My point this, after, this morning is this. Let it sink in. Spiritual delight is shared and multiplied by who you work for, who you work with for the glory of Christ. Look at that. Spiritual delight is multiplied and shared depende kinsang imong partner o kang kinsang mo nangalagag. You work with for the glory of Christ. Sabi ni Pablo, I smile because I am working with, speaking of the Philippian church, people who loves the Lord Jesus Christ and for the glory of Christ. Somehow, I want you to seek the Holy Spirit's conviction to your heart before you partake communion. Usa ka pangutana nga, very dangerous. Pray at your own risk. If the prayer goes like this, Holy Spirit, Please show me if I am a blessing to the people I work with for your glory. Pray that prayer. The moment you pray that prayer, you will be shocked because there will be no room for assumption. The Lord will make it clear. Maybe you think you are a blessing. Maybe you realize people like you. And the Lord showed you this morning before you partake, you need to repent because there's so many people did not serve the Lord anymore because of you. Something like that. Especially to our senior citizens who are already in the pre-departure area. You know, I mean, hapit na ba? 60, 70 na ba? Hungi-hung, no? Nga ang senior ko no, ibaba sa 56. Ah, dili ko ano eh. 
55 ako nang pagupit gani ko tanawan nindot kayo wala gyud ninyo napansin no mahal ba ni 500 in fact nagaplano ko dili mo makurat nakabook na ako eh sa barber shop diyan sa mapa na by next week naka-decide na gyud after much prayer magpa-color na ko buhok so di na gyud mantos ning buhok ka so i have and then the barbero said sir on sang color oh, alam man ito Would you tolerate a pastor who comes to you with a robe like this and a pink hair? <laughs> oh Lord, I will lose my job. 56 years old, my wife would say, she's looking at it in the discount point of view. So, may na, dad, gana na tayo dito. Ako naman, I'm looking at it in the pride point of view. Bata pa ng 56. I mention age because the, the older you are, here, listen to me, the older you are, the lonelier it will be. Are you with me? The older you are, the lonelier it will be. Please be humble enough while you are still alive and there is still time. May the Lord still grant us the grace to learn how to partner with people so that we might live the last few years of our lives with joy. Amen. When a person dies... <laughs> This is really true. Nagi uban wa jay bisita, no? I have attended several funerals that are really morbid, and it led me to reflect. The casket is closed. There's no flower. There's only one person there, and one of the funeral I attended was the funeral of my pastor. So lonely, nobody there, and I don't want to judge. They're already de- dead and gone. But the lesson lingered in my mind. God did not design you to live on your own or alone. God designs you to make a difference, to inspire others and be inspired by others. Amen. The older you are, you still have the last few days, last few years of your life to bow it, to make friends. To experience the joy that Apostle Paul experienced, because finally he said, "I need others." All God's people say, "I need others." You see, sabi ni Pablo, while this is a tall order to relate, he wants you to relax because it is not your effort, it is not your strength, but this is the life of Christ flowing from you. That helps you relate with others. Read the verse, please. Verse six. Let us all together read. And I am certain that God, who began a good work within you, will continue His work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. You know what Paul is saying? Relating is difficult. Kailahilahay ng batasan. To be alone and exclusive is comfortable. But when you relate, it will not be by your own strength. The Lord starts the work. The Lord continues the work. The Lord will finish the work. Wow! Hallelujah! It brings joy. There are times I feel guilty about the church. Who will take my place? What will happen? And this verse reminds me a strong rebuke. Your worry is out of place because He who started the work will finish it until the day of redemption. A lot of us today are so joyless because we think that we are the one bringing all the task. As a result of that, verse seven, sabi ni Pablo, let us all read. So it is right that I should feel, as I do about all of you, you have a special place in my heart. I grab you know for Paul to say that to the Philippians. I can only assume. Close you the eyes, sila. Now, can you honestly say, "Kaniha <laughs> nag-usap-usap kami"? You think you are close with others until they know you, diba? You think you are BFF, bestie, best, whatever you call your each other. More close man tano until you know him, his weakness and strength. That's the only time you can conclude if you are really close or not. For Apostle Paul to say, "You have a special place in my heart," it's not just cliche. That's what Pastor Jerry say. 
It's really saying, you know, Philippian church, you encourage me to serve the Lord. Dili maka nindot may so on na atong kinabuhi maka inspire sa uban, all God's people say. You know what? Gusto ko malaman. Anong sikreto ninyo at bakit kayo close? You know, it's easy to live with wrong people. That's just my opinion. Because most of the time, wrong people have the chance to admit they are wrong. Tama? But it is so difficult, so hard to live with people who are right all the time. I don't know that. Maybe the mechanic is there. And Paul said, both in my imprisonment, you, you share with me a special favor of God. Underline the word share. It is not Paul's favor is higher, theirs are the leftover. No, God's favor is shared. Amen. And then he said, the, fa- the special favor of God. Because you know, Philippian church, in my imprisonment and defending and confirming the truth of the good news. In verse 8, describes their partnership. God knows how much I love you and long for you and the tender compassion of Christ Jesus. I wish to understand that many of you came from the background of churches that you have a very, very bad experience. That's why you're here. You were traumatized. You were abused. You were, you know, maybe to escape a church problem, you are stranded here in Chaibab. I want you to know that this church is as imperfect as the church where you come from. Only by the grace of God, we still enjoy such good fellowship. But I assure you there will come a time that this relationship will be challenged. Pero there are three things I discovered. What makes Paul and the Philippian church, their, their friendship, their partnership, tested and proven? And working together. First of all, Paul works with people who are redeemed by Jesus. Can we work with others for climate change? Yes. We can work with others with bloodletting? Yes. We can work with the community of Davao for uh, community project? Yes, by all means. But when it comes to the gospel of Christ, we can only work, partner with people who are redeemed by the Lord Jesus Christ. All God's people say. May I take the warning? A lot of you will partake communion later. Kasi pag sulod din yun, naman diha, kuha na lang. But let me remind you, this element is totally useless if you don't have a relationship with God by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So I want to warn you, when you partake this, eat and drink, pero wala kay relasyon sa ginoo, pinaagi kang Kristo, this will just be a snack. But this requires another warning. A lot of you sing the song, a lot of you pray the prayer, a lot of you love the rituals, pero pag abot dire, you don't know Jesus. My friend, there can never be joyful partnership with others unless you yourself know the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are in business, is it necessary, pastor, na akong partner sa business, Christohanon, may advantage, but no guarantee. Did you hear me? There's an advantage, but no guarantee. In fact, I am discouraging you, if you are from the same church and you are partners in business, I assure you, you will fight. I'm talking about partnership in the gospel, not partnership in your business. Is it okay that I can also touch how important it is when you fall in love. I am not asking you to marry a Catholic, a Protestant, whatever. Drop the labels, but don't forget this. Marry someone who loves Jesus Christ and who will help you love him more. All God's people say. Sabi ng iba, Katoliko man na siya. Protestante man na siya. Well, ano sa ba ko mo ingon ninyo? Please be reminded that, 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 that the labels speaks of our theological differences, but only God can judge the heart. Amen. It is my prayer that when you seek someone to be your lifetime partner, maraglayo sa topic no, ni side bit lang ko, tanawa gyud ang iyang relasyon kang Kristo, dili lang ang iyang pagkareligyoso. 
Are you with me? Some people are religious, Baptist or Catholic, pero pag sa balay, manipakyaw ang misis. Mangbugbog man. Ang uban, nindot kayo mawali from ba, ba, ba. I mean, let's not fool ourselves around. It's relationship with Jesus Christ. To the Roman Catholics, I say it is, it is your relationship with Jesus, not your tradition that will save you. And to the Protestant Church, it is our relationship with Jesus Christ, not our doctrine. Amen. So Paul works with people who are not only redeemed by Jesus, Paul partners with people who are relaxed by Jesus. You know, when you know Christ is Lord and He is control, in control, the normal reaction and the lifestyle should be not paranoid but relaxed. It's a blessing to partner with people who increase your faith. And I think we thank God for that when this church were in crisis. We have partners that say, trust God, let's move on. I remember the building committee. Long time ago, the architect was saying, your budget is only up to fourth floor. The committee met, prayed, and every one of them unanimously say, we don't have money, we will trust the Lord. And finally, up to the eighth floor, they finished the church. It's good to partner with people who are relaxed by Jesus. Amen? It is good to have a wife who is relaxed by Jesus, partnering the husband who is a little bit relaxed. You know, I can name people who are relaxed. One is Mr. Jasper Sumuga, one of our nurses here. Wala ka si Jasper, no? Grabe ka yung impact niya sa ong kinabuhay. Pati ka, relax daw, Hannah. Kasi pastor, positive ka sa COVID. Relax. Wako ko nakulbaan sa kare. She was, Jasper was our nurse. And he was in charge of testing us and, you know, receives the bad news and can be infected anytime. Jasper brought me to the hospital to check my liver because may have a liver problem. Uh, but, Hindot nangingana, no? And I pray that this is not only one person, but those of us who trust the Lord, my dear friends, communion reminds you as you partake the body, drink the blood of Christ symbol, you will be reminded who is in charge. Amen. And as you taste the bread, no taste at all, as you taste the juice a little bit sweet, uh, you will realize, why am I so paranoid? And be reminded that when you are partners with those who are redeemed, you should be relaxed. But the Philippian church is not only redeemed and relaxed, Paul works with people who are resolute for Christ. This is a timely reminder. Claro, kaayo, kay Pablo, that the church worship Christ and not Paul. Amen. It is a timely warning for you. You can admire a pastor, uh, Tell him that you are inspired, but be careful not to admire him too much because it's called idolatry. Are you with me? Diha na magsugod ang Senior Agida, Pastor Q, and then it could be Pastor Tan. Yeah, that's true. Paul, clear kayo sa iya My loyalty is to Christ, and the church is saying, Paul, we love you. We remember your birthday. We will support you. But it's crystal clear to us that Christ is the center of everything. All God's people say. Part of the communion is to remind you it's not Taylor Swift who should be center in your life. Diba? Amen? The fans of Taylor Swift? It's not supposed to be Taylor Swift. It's not supposed to be this person, when you partake communion, it's a time to renew the center of my life, first and last, beginning and end. It's Jesus Christ. When you are secure with Christ, you will be secured partnering with others. One of the greatest sin we should not commit and we should be aware is the sin of exclusivity. Dili lang kita ang ginagamit sa ginoo. Amen. There are other churches today Meeting under the mango tree, meeting under the garage, rented the garage, 
big building, small building, like the Methodist church in a multi-purpose building, they're all meeting out there, exalting the Lord Jesus Christ. We are just one of the many thousands of believers gathered today to worship the Lord. Amen. When you partake communion, your delight is back when you don't feel exclusive. No wonder there is delight in each other's presence. Have you thought about it? Huh? Na pag naaka, manghawa ang uban? That's something to think about. That's something to pray about. That's something to repent about and say, Lord Jesus, before I die, may I become a blessing to others. I mean, nagtipok sila pag abot niyo. May I remind you, ma'am, sir, if you are a believer, are you not committing a grievous sin if you isolate yourself and not relate? Are you not committing a grievous sin when your children are protected, so protected that they are not relating to others? You let YouTube to nurse them? They don't know how to say hi. They don't know how to have friends. My dear friend, this morning, may the Lord convict us. Whether you find it awkward, dangerous, or borderline to radical, please step out of your comfort zone. Relate. And from there, you will find your joy. No wonder why there is joy in the presence of others. In this church, in the fifth floor where we all have an office, I think I am not exaggerating when I say the fifth floor is the happiest place because the pastors are, well, there is no time in our work there that we're not laughing. Sige, katawa. Nagduda na ganit ko, sige, katawa. Katawa, katawa dito. Are you going to your work, ministry, church, dragging your feet? Kapuya na ka? You know what? When I come to work every morning, some people say, Pastor, do you observe office hours? Yes. Pastor should observe work office hours. Now come here nine until five. But most often I am here 6 a.m. First to come. And then I know who's coming next. Then David will come. Pastor David always greets me with, Boxo, you want coffee? So I said, yeah, he, he, he's good in coffee, believe me. That's another gift I want to find in the scripture. And then comes Pastor Francis. Ilhan manamos Francis kay ang yang sapatos. Punanas Fernando po. And then we laugh. And there comes Pastor Cecil, who always, most of the time, have the ulo ng mga balita. Kabulo ba mo? Traffic room sa kuan ko, kuya wali. Here comes Pastor Joel. Oh my. You miss a lot when you don't relate. You with me? You eat Christian food, you drink Christian coffee, you have Christian songs, go to the Christian school, then you come home safe and contaminated. Wow. Ay, nako. I'm glad I, I know Father Jonah of the Catholic Church. We're not the same doctrinally, but we're friends. Now, I want to challenge you folks, despite of your being sanguine or what, this is not about personality. This is about your design. No wonder why there is delight with each other's generosity. When people love the Lord, ang uban ang sulti. Pastor, I've been coming to Chaibab. You never preach about tithing. Did you hear me preach about tithing? Do you want me to preach about tithing? Oh, sabi ko na, ayaw niyo eh. <laughs> Taxing. Sa ko alam, you, there is no need really to preach about that if people are in love with Christ. Amen. In fact, one lady came to me and said, Pastor ka nang, God has blessed me, but the offering box there, gamay man kaayo ang bangag. And I have a lot to give. She's not so off. She's very humble. Maulo mo ko mag... Pagdaghan na nagpila. So she came to me and said, Ikaw na lang hulog ani pastor. So I'm suggesting, Dakuo na taong bangag. 
niya makuot na, na sa mga balhiboon. Abinuan. So generosity is not something you manipulate people. You're generous, you're generous. Amen? The Philippian church were generous church supported Paul. No wonder why there is delight in each other's ministry. Now, three important prayers before you partake Holy Communion today. Number one, this is a good time to pray and pause. Ask God if we have the right Christ-honoring partnership. Now, to all of you who are supporting missionaries, whether they are from this group, from that group, ampu idaw kung ang inyong partnership makahimaya abakang Kristo. Is it a partnership or you feel superior than the other? When I was working with Far East Broadcasting Company for 20 plus years, 18 years, I early retired to be your full-time pastor. Uh, FEBC, DXFE cannot survive without donation from other churches. But there are just people who want to donate, but they want to manipulate. You have to pray and discern if you are the manipulated or you are the manipulator, such partnership must not go on. There's a second prayer. This is a good time to ask God, kaisuba, courage, to detach from partnership that serves other agenda than Christ. It, I need to explain that. To some of you who left your churches because in your own opinion, the pastor is no longer exalting Christ and the church is no longer serving Christ's purpose, you are not wrong. Because when the agenda is no longer Jesus, you should detach from that church and find another church that exalts Christ. Amen. And then I told you, tell you the story. I was talking to a lady here. I told her, Ma'am, dugay na kay Kadri, baka hoy pata. I was not expecting her answer would be in my heart until today. She said, I am still worshiping here in Chinese Baptist Church because I still sense that the pastors here are servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then she said, particularly you, pastor, if you no longer serve Christ, I'm out quickly. I strongly suggest you follow her. The moment you sense that the church is no longer connected to the purpose of Christ, the moment you sense that the pastor manipulates you, you know, get your money and, you know. I'm told today that there is a problem in the Southern Baptist churches because some of our churches, some of our pastors who are Baptists are speaking in tongues. I just smile because I know the real problem. The real problem is not tongues. The real problem is power addiction. Did you get me? So when you sense that to a partnership, some you should no longer support a ministry that manipulates others. Amen. Others would say, so pastor, I'm offering dirina namo ihatag sa chai bap. That's not for me to decide. That's for you. A good rule in life is support the church that spiritually feeds you. I think that's fair. But if your churches, way back you come from, sa tulunan, dito, inahanglan pa man itong tabang, musugot pa mo, daily musultig yun ko ninyo, dito ninyo ipadalang inyong mga offering. Amen? Ang sobra lang ang amua. I mean, that's it. It's not just money. This is a good time to be silent before God and listen how are we partner to others. When you say partner, listen to me, you don't feel superior. You know, some of you feel superior because you are supporting a missionary. Dapat mag-report siya sa kua. That's not partnership. You know, we support seminarians and missionaries I'm not saying it's wrong. We support them to Bible school. After they graduate, they serve Chinese Baptist Church. That's, that's not no problem with me. But that's not the way we do that here. How do, you do the, how do you do that here? We support whoever God wants us to support. And after he graduates, he listens to God where he is assigned. That's partnership. All God's people say, Amen. Now, 
Spiritual delight is intensified when partners in the gospel are growing deep in spiritual discernment. You know, that's very difficult because they say discernment is a spiritual gift. I agree. But together as a church, in prayer, down at your knees, we seek God and discern well. Last Friday, I went home. The other Friday, katong pag-vote na to kay Pastor David Tan to be the uh, senior pastor associate, I smile because I saw the church praying, seeking, and obeying God. What a joy. And David Tan got a vote that is unanimous. Nobody opposed. And I found out that his wife was not there. That's why nobody opposed. So I told David, wala d'yo nang opo sa imo. Si Lulet dahil na akong suspect. Pero napo isa ka suspect sa pangalan na, wag na lang. Katong mga karaang dama ng mga palaaway ng baptist dili, nakakita d'yo ko gamay pa kong bata, business meeting is war zone. I almost lost my faith when I saw, these were the ones who were singing, praise him, praise him. But after the business meeting, nag-away ay na. Some of you are product of church split. You cannot erase that. That's human reality. But today I'm preaching to you a sermon. We cannot be victims of spiritual immaturity, all God's people say. We need to mature. We need to realize that this is not my church. This is Jesus' church. This is not my agenda. I'll give you a tip. If you want to know the character of a person, so let you down it. Watch out his response, her response, when what her wishes or his wishes are not granted. Claro kayo. Pag hindi nasunod yung gusto niya, tanawa yung response, makita na mong iyang tinuod na karakter. Look at the pastor. If his proposal is not agreed by the church, look at his response. And a lot of you left your church, not because they are wrong, maybe you are the one wrong. Hawa ka kayo, wala na nakakuha din mong suggestion. Dako biya kami nag-amot, Pastor. Listen kayo yung simbahan ng ara, no? Ikaw nag-amot sa atop, ikaw, na ako'y nakabalhan, ano ba? Sara ka tao nag-amot sa pulpit, sa mic, sa tanan. Sus, pag-away, ibawi! Pag ka na lang. I'm saying, my dear friends, I think we should learn discernment. What is discernment? Discerning what is good, Versus what is godly. Mahirap yun. Good and evil dali. Or good and godly. Listen. Example. Pastor, gusto niyo ko mo teach yung mga bata ay ang graduate of so and so. Good! But what is godly? Are you the one spiritually prepared? That's godly. Tama ba? Good! I want to volunteer sa welfare center. I have so many suggestions. But is it, we need what? Discernment. Okay? I want you to read verse 9. Let us read this slowly but louder. One, two, three. I pray that your love will overflow more and more. Meaning, when you love someone, you should not love half. You should love more and more. Amen? My good friend, Pastor Danny Fileo, is already 60 years old. And I was invited to speak on his birthday, 60, and surprise. And I saw in that church how they love their pastor more and more. So, what is the rule for loving? Not half, more and more. Pero, too much love. <laughs> Yan ang kanta ni Taylor Swift, di ba? No, no, I don't know the singer. I just, uh, default ko na, too much love will kill you. That's really true. Look at the next verse. That you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. Meaning, meaning, some of your support and love must have boundaries. Tama ba? Can I be specific? Are you supporting a brother-in-law who has no job and now 59 years old and still no job? It's time to kick him out of the house. Tama ba? Are you supporting someone who don't want to help himself but keep asking for tuition pero wala man taon, it, it's time to 
love to be tough a little bit and say, you know, you are not nursing a parasite. Are you with me? So sahay, discernment will say, dili na tamo support aning grupo ha, because the money is not going to where it should go. Ama ba? So, that's it. Pero, remember, verse 10 is powerful. I want you to understand, let's all read, I want you to understand what really matters. Now, sabi ni Pablo, what really matters? Ano ba ang talagang importante sa Diyos? What, is, what really matters? Why are we a church? And then Paul explains, that's what really matters, no? Read, so that you may live pure, blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. That's important, the beautiful building. That's important, the good choir. That's important, the eloquent preachers. That's important with magnificent Sunday morning worship. It should live, lead us to a life that is transformed by Christ. But there's just one problem. That's a high standard. None of you, none of us, can fulfill the blameless life. Ang sige ni less blame, di kaya? Blameless. Are you blameless? To many of you, you, you still sign bouncing check. You still cheat in your business. I, I know everything. I'm the pastor. Ang mga balita, maabot sa ko ah. Pastor, Christian man ang tala siya. Dito mo ako nagtrabaho. Klaro mo gitong made in China. Pero amo yung gilangkat o gipalitan o US. That's a Christian company. Blameless. Nakakita ba pitaka no? Makakita kang pitaka na ilaman 5,000. Nakapadyo yung ID na ako di ha? Ningon lagi kag answered prayer. Blameless. I mean, even me. I am not qualified there. Thank God there's this verse. Read. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation. Meaning, salvation first by faith in Jesus, then fruit. Now here's the arrangement. We don't do good to go to heaven. You don't go to heaven by being good. Nobody is good. We do good because we are already going to heaven by faith in Christ. Amen. So I talk to you young people, future doctor, future engineer, future businessman, future whatever God has planned in your life, what matters the most is you live out your being a Christian. Still a tall order. This one makes me relax. What is important? The righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ. Now listen to the next verse. For this will bring much glory and praise to God. Connect the two. It brings glory to God. What brings glory to God? Righteous character. Who produced righteous character? Christ. All God's people say, now it's possible. It is not my honesty because I'm a Chinese. It's not my one because I'm an American. No. It's because of Christ. Paul prayed for discernment to avoid abusive traps of the partnership. Paul prayed for a Christ character to be reflected in the partnership. Christ character. Si Cristo ang dahilan. Hinungdan sa imong pagbago. Amen? Paul prayed that the partnership centers on the glory of Christ not ambition or success. Thank God, the Lord has blessed the church magnificently, fantastic. But our goal is not to be a mega, mega, big, big church in Davao. In fact, I talked to Dr. Larry Pabiona of the Green Hills Christian Fellowship. We had a talk over breakfast. Their church planned to extend, extend Church here in the vow. Pero, nun siya, choose a place, gradili, it's not near another church. I admire their ethical practices. But I tell you something, daghang kayong tao sa Dabao. Kahit ilang church, pwede pa, kahit pa tabi-tabi. Diba, tabi-tabi ganyan mga sari-sari, store bakit? 
Hindi simbahan alliance baptist ana na di ka dire mo tek tek sa mi pas oy imong kuan na dire ko anang So I talked to Pastor Larry and said you come in fact I am serious when I told him if you start a work here we will even ask some of our members to go to you start to help you start we'll give you the box sliders <laughs> no we all had the same joke I gave to him we all laughed Nindot, no? Nice, ya. Yeah. Kung ang atong ambisyon, dili lang padaghan sa atong membro, ay, ambot na lang. Have you ever hear people say, kabalo ba mo, pila na among member? That very statement is not bringing spiritual delight. That very statement is bringing trauma. Okay, let's end. Then have communion. Practical advice. Number one, be open before God about my tendency to be abusive. Amen? Not others, ikaw. Pero may ko, abusado sila. I sir, apila mo sarili. I have big tendency to be abusive. Can I share one example? It is good that when we eat in a restaurant, say, mukaon mi sa restaurant, mo yako, waiter! Ilaman na. The waiter said, Sir, ibayra na. Sir, ibay. Taga Chinese Baptist Church. Is that good? Amen. That's good. Kay, dili man ta mag-proud. Ibayra na. Huwag man ko nag-manipulate. Now, hindi lang ako. Mga ibang pastor dito, pag kumakain kami, naagay mga godly people, no? Who pay for our food. I think that's not wrong. You know what is wrong? One time I went to a restaurant and I saw one group there, they got chai bab, Uy, musta? The other group, chai bab, Uy, duha na. Sa tulo, Uy, napa. Ano ko, kini? <laughs> Mao na ang bad. <laughs> you get my point now? When the pastor is now saying, Daghan membro. But honestly, I really felt that in my own human weakness, ko kini. But compute na ko ba? Di, di, manaji mo, bayan. Mm. Bring home ta siguro, no? Kay tulog yan. Agoy. Ni isa. Wala d'yo ni baya. Those wicked members. No, it's a lesson for the pastor not to be abusive. Amen? Case number two. With a good case. A pastor by the name of Kailan is David Tan? Ang tananin niyo siya. Ingon, ingon ang simbahan, mag, 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 bakasyon siya. I want to go to vacation. And the secretary of the church said, Pastor, you need to file your leave because you are going to vacation. And the pastor said, Pastor should not file leave. We are servants of God. That's the one you need to fire. He is abusive. Tama ba? I want to announce to you that there are churches which is not necessarily wrong na ang parking space na ay nakabutang reserve for the lead pastor. Hindi naman mali yun eh. Kailangan naman talaga niya. There is a chai bap, no like that. If you are late, you look for another parking somewhere there. That includes me. But I always have parking because I am here 4 a.m. Some of you feel entitled. Mangita lang dito. I mean, be open before God. You have, I have the tendency to be abusive. O, tapos na ko ni Amin sa ko. Aha, kamo na po. Oy! You have the tendency to be abusive. Di ba? Nang ganito yung nangaon sa restaurant, senior citizen sila tanan, pag gawa sa ID, nangalot ko itong tag-iya. Oy, saan naman? Wala na tayo halina ni. Puro senior tanan, gawas pa mga ID nga. Karun mo, 56 na. Hala. Ugi na, ni Kursyo na. I mean, you can be abusive as a senior citizen. You can use your age. Diba? Say, mga bule, bu, bu, bula, bu, bu, mm -hmm. bula, saan na eh? Bulayagon, mga iguang. Senior ko, senior. Mm. Diba? Sa airport ka rin, napagkamala na po mi. Sir, dali mo mag-line. Pag ito. Pakita sa buhok. Senior ba yan? 
I'm saying, number two, be wise not to be abused. Amen? Nag-utang, wag ibayaran, nag-utang na po, ayaw na po utang ha. Don't be, don't be buguism, no? I mean, naabuso ka na eh. Tama ba yun? Kapila na na ng utang. And you know, easy to abuse our Christians. And easy to become abusers are Christians. So when you partake communion, Lord Jesus, I remember you. Help me not to be abused or to become abusive. Be willing to be accountable for collective spiritual discernment. Be aware and be awakened that the process of walking in spiritual discernment is brokenness. Let me conclude by saying, as we partake communion this morning, first, you need to know, do you really know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I'm not asking your religion. I'm asking your relationship with Christ. Number two, as we partake communion, let us not only enjoy the privileges for grace enables us, not paralyze us. Amen. The grace of God enables us and it will not paralyze us. So when I partake communion, God's enabling grace. Lord, I heard your word today. Please help me. By your mercy, as I grow old, I will be a blessing. Amen? Kanabita mo rakag si Mr. Ray Limba, katong atong membro din ng ating gulang. Ah, suko si Along. Si Kuya Ray, pag naanas, Kuya Ray, tipok dayon ni mga pastor. Ganahan mi sa iya, kayo mang libre mo na siya gulami. I mean, he is old, he's been with us. Pag naanas siya, blessing. I, I'm sorry, I cannot mention all of you. I can only remember those who are blessing. Those I cannot remember, you're, I don't know. Happy ba mo kung na ako? As your pastor? Time to retire, no? Uulitin ko ha, baka nagka-miscommunication lang. Hmm, ulit ha? Happy ba kayo pag na-meet niyo ako? Yes! Hallelujah! Hala! Kani mo isimbahan? And I partake communion, anak ba? Maski isog kay kamwali, mahal mo naman sila, mahal ko naman kayo, di ba? Happy ba tayo? Bumalik si Pastor Jerry? Amen. Bumalok, bumalok. Bumalik si Pastor Fritz Tong at saka si Kate. Yes. Amen. Happy ba kayo na ang ating worship leader ay si Pastor Prince? Yes. Oh, maski nindot yun siya muli. <laughs> Masya il... Worship! Oh, grabe. Happy ba kayo na ang ating mga musicians, si Kuya Charlie, si Lolong, si Rodolph, sino pa isa? Si Francis? Ah, oh, yun ang punto po. Malangit lagi, pero kung diri sa yuta, porwisyo, ay, ambot ni mo. So, pag partake na to communion, maghinulsol ta, Lord, samtang may oras pa. By the way, yung nasa booth, yung nasa gitna, di ba? Pinako si Kristo sa dalawang technician. Yung nasa gitna, si Marvin. Birthday niya ngayon. Happy kayo? Happy birthday, Marvin! Maglilib daw siya mamayang hapon. Hindi pwede. Servant na wala. Marvin served as well. Siya ang in charge. Ano yung mga kwan? Let's give him a clap of appreciation. Marvin. And then convert that to cash. No, it's up to you. It's just a joy to partake communion today. You're going to heaven. Yes. But how are you here on planet Earth? May the tribe of people who are blessing increase. If not, ayaw ka suko sa kuha. Pag hinulsol tang tanan, Lord, apay panahon, I can still be a blessing. Amen. Please all rise. Let's take our wafer. Hallelujah. On the night the Lord Jesus Christ was betrayed, He took the bread and broke it and said, This is my body broken for you. Eat you all of it in remembrance of me. Let us pray. Father, in this sacred time of partaking communion, we remember Jesus. May the character of Jesus be produced in our lives. Father, we also ask for forgiveness. Sana, we will become a blessing. 
in the remaining years of our lives. Not because we have effort, but because you are honored in each of us. Father, I pray as we eat this bread, we eat with smile and joy because you want us to experience spiritual delight as we partner with others. Make me a blessing because Jesus Christ is my Lord. In Christ's name, amen. Eat ye all of it in remembrance of Jesus. Let us eat this bread in remembrance of our Lord. Let us get the cup. The Lord Jesus Christ said, and the night he was betrayed, he took the cup and said, This is my blood. Drink ye all of it in remembrance of me. Let us pray. Lord, when we drink this cup of juice, it is the blood of Christ that forgives all my sins. And Lord, this symbol reminds me that a true Christian is no longer owned by himself, but he is now owned by Christ, our Master. So as we drink this, Lord, stir the joy, hallelujah, the joy, and let that joy spread all over that we belong to Abba by faith in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us drink this with joy in our hearts in remembrance of our Lord. As we close the service, Kanina, during prayer time, you came to the altar because you asked something from God. Amen? Karon, as Pastor Prince will lead us in the song, you will come back to the altar as the Lord leads you, two, three seconds, because you will now surrender something to God. Maybe the Lord convicted you of something. You're saying, Lord, help me obey you. Lord, here's my life. As the music starts, start coming to the altar, and bowing down to God. Amen. Pastor Prince will lead us. He who started the work, amen, will perform it until the day of redemption. As the Lord leads you, come. The altar is open. Everyone who will surrender to the Lord, come forward, come before the Lord, say, God, have mercy on me. Amen. He who began a good work in you He who began a good work in you
Dismiss us this morning, Heavenly Father, with a fresh lesson. We need others. And we, we are inspired by others, and we should inspire others. Lord, when we want to do your purpose, ang imong tinguha sa mong kinabuhi, ang anong imong paming gilugwayan, o ginhawa, so that we can be a blessing. Amen. So we can inspire the young if we are old. So we can realize that, Lord, you are so merciful. The remaining days of my life, as we are sure we're going to heaven because we trusted you, allow us to be a blessing, like the names we have mentioned. Lord, I pray, do not make me a grumpy old man. Do not make us grow old in a sour attitude. And when we partner with others, there will be joy to fulfill your purpose in our lives. So we will leave your house today with a smile and joy. And up by chance, up by chance, before we are buried, before we are cremated, we can still say, I want to be a blessing to others, to glorify my Lord. We're not going to please people, we're going to please you. And if we please you, we will be a blessing to others. Dismiss us now with grace and mercy, in Jesus' name. Amen. Instead of just singing here our prayer, O Lord, can we sing that again? If the struggle you're facing, just the part, and then experience the smile, the delight of the Lord. He'll help us. If the struggle you're facing is slowly replacing your home with this God's grace be sa taas, God's grace be with you, God's grace be with you. The service has come to an end. Thank you for coming. The pastors are in front. If you need prayers, please go to them. You can drop your offerings with a gracious and generous heart. God bless you all. Amen.